Maybe you've heard of the Hamptons or Montauk. These are all places in Long Island. And in this video, I'm going to cover what the heck is Long Island and how do you use the Long Island Railroad and be successful at it. From understanding the train lines, viewing schedules, buying tickets, to getting on board the train and understanding transfers. Welcome to Urban Caffeine. My name is Thea and you're watching a channel that talks about urban culture, transit, and history. If you like trains, hit that like button. And funny story, I personally know somebody who found this channel without any prompts from me just because they like trains. So that's proof that the YouTube algorithm is actually working. So you hitting that like button is actually really helping out this channel. So hit that like button. While the subway travels within New York City, there are rails that go beyond its confines. And one of these rails is the Long Island Railroad or LIRR. What I like about the Long Island Railroad is that it's an easy way to get to the Far Rockaway Beach during the summertime, or a faster way to get to Arthur Ashe to watch the US Tennis Open, or City Field to watch the Mets. I want to say it's easy to use the LIRR, but if you've seen some of my transit videos, you'll know that we have yet to find the perfect transit system in New York City. But that's what this video is for. To understand the Long Island Railroad, we need to look at some geography to figure out what and where is Long Island. New York City is part of New York State and New York City is divided into five boroughs. Two boroughs worth noting are Brooklyn and Queens. Although these two are boroughs of NYC, they are also counties of an island that is pretty long, so long that they called it Long Island. Long Island's counties are Brooklyn, Queens, Nassau, and Suffolk. And as a side note, to understand some local lingo, when someone says they're from Long Island, they usually mean somewhere in Suffolk or Nassau. People from Brooklyn say they're from Brooklyn, and people from Queens say they're from Queens. And as another side note, there's a place called Long Island City. Long Island City is a neighborhood in Queens, which is different from the island that is called Long Island. And now that we have geography out of the way, while the New York City subway only runs within the confines of New York City, the Long Island Railroad runs its tracks throughout Long Island. Let's break down this map. Train lines are named according to their end of the line station. For example, this red line is the Port Washington line or branch, and this green line is the Oyster Bay branch. The gray line is considered the city terminal zone. This means that these stations are still within New York City, either in Queens, Brooklyn, or Manhattan. A very important station to know is Jamaica because all trains, except for those headed to Port Washington, will head into Jamaica. Because depending on where your starting point is, you might not get a direct train to where you are going. Which means you will have to transfer at Jamaica. And with that said, the second important station to note is Woodside. Because Woodside will be your transfer point if you need to get to Port Washington from a non-direct train. And don't worry, we'll cover transfers later in this video. Jamaica Station also connects to the air train that will take you to and from JFK Airport. And I have an entire video on how to use the air train when you are landing at JFK. Check that out in the description below. Penn Station and Atlantic are large hubs where you can transfer to other transit systems. Another terminal at a major hub is currently under construction and that will be at Grand Central. The latest news is that the Grand Central Terminal will be complete by December 2022, but that's a year from now, so a lot could happen then. Naturally, the frequency of trains depends on demand. More popular stations will have more trains available. Other factors to consider are the day of the week and the time of day and also the holidays. There are several apps out there in the wild that you can use to view the schedule of the Long Island Railroad trains. The MTA, for example, who is the operator of the LIRR, actually has two apps that show the LIRR schedule. Train time is specifically just for the LIRR, and the MyMTA app shows information for the subway, bus, and other rails. While these apps are okay to use, what I recommend is City Mapper. 
City Mapper shows you information on the majority of the transit systems in New York City. Under Rail, you will see the schedule of the LIRR trains according to the station, along with other rails in the area. And a map for reference is also available. You can also see service alerts. You can see trains departing at a particular station and filter all the available trains to look for the one you need. For example, if I'm at Penn Station and I want to go to Kew Gardens, I'll type in Kew Gardens and now I can see all the trains that will stop at Kew Gardens. Another great thing about City Mapper is when you input your starting point and endpoint. It will give you all your transport options along with the time and approximate cost. Unlike the subway, the Long Island City Railroad does not have a flat rate. Instead, the system is divided into zones, and these are the zones. I know this looks weird since we are missing some numbers, but there used to be a complete set, and at some point in time, these zones were combined. So today, we have this odd numbering. Traveling within a single zone will obviously be cheaper and fare will go up the further away you travel from your zone. Prices also differ between peak and off-peak times. Peak hours are when trains are scheduled to arrive in any of the NYC terminals between 6 and 10 a.m. and depart any of these terminals between 4 and 8 p.m. on weekdays. But what a lot of people don't know about is city ticket. On the weekend, you can get a one-way ticket for only $4.50 and travel within the city zone. And the city zone is indicated by these gray lines, which is useful if you are traveling to and from JFK Airport on the weekend. To get the most updated pricing, the MTA website will have this fee schedule, or you can view prices on the MTA's eTix app. And this is the app to use if you want to buy a mobile ticket and don't want to get a paper ticket, which leads us to the next chapter of this video. There are several ways to buy a ticket. Try to avoid buying a ticket on board because there will be a surcharge and it's pretty steep. It's about five to seven dollars more than the actual ticket price. Mail and ride is for monthly tickets. Tickets can be bought from a personnel, but these offices have hours and are not always open. The best way to get a ticket is either through a machine or the mobile app. To get a paper ticket, you can use one of these machines. They don't all look the same, but they are all labeled with Long Island Railroad. The machines are actually a little different from one another. All of them will dispense LIRR tickets as well as offer Metro cards and I have a whole video on Metro cards. Check out a link in the description below. And some of them will offer uni tickets. Uni tickets combine buses and the LIRR but we will not get into uni tickets today. Blue machines will only accept debit and credit and no cash and as for red machines they are limited to one way and round trip tickets. I think they also have more restrictions but this is is the gist of it. Don't confuse them with the subway machine. Always look for the logo that says Long Island Railroad. With these machines, you can pay with cash, card, or a device with NFC like your smartwatch or smartphone. The interface is pretty straightforward, but I will still walk you through it. You start with the ticket type. I'm only going for a single ride, so that's what we'll pick. This machine happens to be at Penn Station, so it already gives me an option to have Penn Station as my starting point. As a side note, tickets last for 60 days from when you purchase them, so you can actually buy tickets days in advance. So if I'm buying a ticket for the future and I won't be leaving from Penn Station, I can click on this button. But today, I'm leaving from Penn Station, so this is our option. Then I'm asked to input the station I want to travel to. After inputting the first letter, options come up. After that, I get all the available ticket options for a one-way trip. Any discounted tickets available will show up here. For the rest of 2021, the MTA has canceled peak tickets, so I don't have the peak ticket option. Otherwise, peak tickets are needed when trains are arriving at NYC terminals between 6 to 10 a.m. and leaving NYC terminals from 4 to 8 p.m.
Then you indicate how many tickets you want. As I mentioned earlier, these LIRR machines also dispense metro cards that you can use for the subway, bus, and other transit that accept the metro card. If you don't need a metro card, just click None. This machine was a blue machine, so it wasn't accepting cash. So if you were on another machine, the cash option will show up here. If you use a card, just follow the instructions on the terminal pad. After paying, you have the option to get a receipt. Your ticket and receipt will dispense at the bottom of the machine. And that's how you buy your ticket. And in a bit here, I'll show you how to find and board your train. But first, if you want to use a mobile ticket, you need to use the eTix app and you need to create an account. In the eTix app, you indicate your starting station and end station. For buying just one ticket, you can stay under the single tab. If you need more than one ticket, you go under multiple tab. Just like the paper ticket, a digital ticket is good for 60 days from purchase. Then you pay with your credit card. After purchasing your ticket, you can view all your purchased tickets under Ticket Wallet. And make sure you activate your e-ticket before boarding the train. So I have my ticket. I'm at Penn Station going to Woodside. This is a pretty simple route, but later in this video, we're gonna talk about more complicated routes. But for this ride, since I have my ticket now, I will have to look for a train to get to Woodside. To find trains that you need, look for a screen that shows all the trains leaving at the station. So here are all the lines leaving Penn Station. Next to the lines, the stations these trains will stop at will flash here. I need to look for a train that stops at Woodside. And I see I currently have four options. It's almost 9.16, so I'm going to try to take the Ron Concoma train. In case I miss that train, I can catch these other trains. Once a train is on a track ready to board passengers, the track number will show up here. Right now, this Ron Concoma train hasn't been assigned a track yet, so I'll have to wait around. So after waiting around, I see that the 916 Ron Concoma train that I want is on track 18. So I follow signs to track 18. At the entrance to the tracks, I can double check to make sure that the train I'm about to get on will indeed stop at Woodside. And it is indeed stopping at Woodside. So I continue to board the train that is on track 18. On board, the conductor will check tickets. If the conductor hands you back your paper ticket, don't lose it because they periodically check. And once the next stop is your stop, they'll take your ticket. And if you are using a mobile ticket, keep your phone handy. So that's an example of a pretty straightforward ride. But what if your ride requires a transfer because there's no direct train from where you're starting to where you want to be? So this is when the Long Island Railroad gets a bit tricky. When you're traveling in one direction, for example, from Garden City to Penn Station, your ticket will say Garden City to Penn Station, whether or not you need to transfer trains. But if your commute at some point needs to go in reverse, for example, from Garden City to Flushing, your ticket will say Garden City to Flushing via Woodside. So say our ticket is from Penn Station to Garden City. Garden City is on the Hempstead line. But say there are no Hampstead trains available direct from Penn Station. What you do is you get on a train that will stop at Jamaica. From Jamaica, you can get a Hampstead train. On the schedule board right here, it says that to get to Hampstead, you take the Babylon train and transfer at Jamaica. The J indicates a transfer at Jamaica. This other board also confirms that the Babylon train connects to Hampstead. By the way, from Jamaica, trains skip the branch they are headed to. For example, if you are in Jamaica and are headed to Oyster Bay, from Jamaica, the first stop will be Mineola. 
And vice versa, if you're traveling from Oyster Bay, once you get to Mineola, the next stop will be Jamaica. But say you need to get from Garden City to Flushing. This will require you to backtrack at Woodside. That's why your ticket will say via Woodside. Meaning you have to transfer at Woodside to catch a train going the opposite direction of Flushing. But here's the deal. You may or may not get a direct train to Woodside. You might get a train headed to Atlantic Terminal, so that means you have to stop at Jamaica to change course. There, you'll get a train that will stop at Woodside. But your ticket will not say via Jamaica because you are still going in the same direction. Once you get to Woodside, that's when you switch directions, and thus your ticket says via Woodside. So there you have it, the Long Island Railroad. It's a great way to explore the eastern lands beyond New York City. If you're a transplant like myself and you've been in New York for a while, make sure you go explore the eastern parts of Long Island. Go get a bed and breakfast, spend a long weekend, explore the lands beyond the city. There's a lot more to see beyond the confines of New York City. And speaking of transplants, this coming year, I'm working on some videos made especially for you, my fellow transplants. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and share this video with someone you think who could use it. Thank you so much for watching and happy New Yorking.